Okay, yes. I have two questions. Caroline Penny from CNN. First, can you... Wait, you got two people in the room? <laughs> yeah, sorry. Is that fair? <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, is your hometown or something? <laughs> um, can you give us the latest number of outstanding absentee ballots? I can, actually. But while I'm looking that up, I'll take another question. Okay, the other question <laughs> was, um, do you guys definitely plan on counting tomorrow? Uh, remember, the counties count. Okay. Oh. But we, we, they, 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 we anticipate the, the results to continue to come in, especially on the absentee by mail that came in today. So we don't know the outward bound of that. That's what I was trying to say. We're trying to get them to check them all in so we all know what the final number is because we saw confusion based on that because people didn't understand. The people are still voting. No, they're just finally getting around to getting the signature match and making sure, yes, this is an accepted ballot, and they have time to do that. So bear with me a moment while I open one of the 9,000 spreadsheets, and I keep on turning down people. You're going to be up very very popular, Walter, when you get back your phone. Um, let's see. Sorry. So while you do that, I'm looking yeah. online. Yes. Um, do, you, do you have an estimate as to how long it'll take to, to get the results? No. <laughs> I mean, we're going to start getting results on tonight. We're going to get the biggest bulk of them. Like we did last night, it depends on the margin. Um, when you want to get a final outcome, yeah. we will know the outstanding number of ballots. If I'm a betting person, which I'm not, I would say it's going to be a couple of days because I anticipate it will be a close race one way or the other for, for probably all three of these seats because most of these people are going to vote straight party one way and straight party another way from the polling that we've seen. So a couple of days before we, we can start seeing the final numbers. Yes. Again, as best as we can tell. If it's a blowout, you know, who knows. Let's see. That's not right. Let me get back to, oh, never mind. Let me see. Bear with me a second. I'm doing math on the fly, which again is always so exciting. I'm gonna have to get back to, well, hold on. Let me open up another, another screen because my math is definitely not working on this. We don't have half a million that are still out, I don't think. Um, let's see. I know it's exciting television for everybody. Let's see. Normally they have this in a nice pretty PDF for me. They didn't do that today because they were busy doing other things. Three hundred six thousand eight hundred fifty-five is what we still have out. The cutoff is seven o'clock tonight. Okay. Um, that includes drop boxes that have to be locked by seven o'clock tonight. So that's that's considered accepted at that point. And that's just getting them in. They still have to be with their signature match. Okay. Unless remember, if there's a signature issue, the voter has up to three days to cure that ballot. And again, there will be teams of Republicans and Democrats running around the state getting those last ballots cured. The other thing that can happen is on provisional ballots, those can be verified through Friday on those that need to be verified. All right, what else? Tonight, yeah, Mark. When we get to vote counting, mm -hmm. everybody's going to be watching votes come in. Um, will early votes be counted first, generally speaking, since those are already in the bag and then we'll get elected? It depends on how the counties choose to do their work today. Some counties are going to take their the early voting scanners to get the memory cards off. That actually takes a little bit of time. Some of them are going to be doing the mail-in first. Some will be doing the absentee in person first. But again, it's up to the county. We have encouraged them to get their mail-in voting quickly because I think that was one of the things that caused major confusion in November. Mara, anything else? Yes. yes. Can... Sorry. She hadn't had one yet. Okay, Paolo yeah. with 11 Alive. Hey. Um, did you expect today to really have that record for now? I mean, what was it like to kind of go through this today? Okay. Every, every one of these elections has been different and had their own new sets of ways of making things seem crazier, you know? So today has been relatively light. It's been sort of calm downstairs. I mean, the biggest thing is we have to deal with more rumors, like, you know, the rumor of a closure, the rumor of a bomb scare that was actually a domestic incident, you know? 
So we're, we're, everybody's kind of on edge for some of these things. But in general, it's been steady as she goes. Like I said, we had 0.02% of touch screens have a problem, 0.1% of scanners. You know, we, we, our biggest issues are kind of like when a plane takes off and lands are your two biggest things. We took off this morning. We didn't really have any pole pad issues other than a few user errors in some of those cases where, like, the um, uh, encoder wasn't quite in exactly right and you had to wiggle it a little bit, kind of like, you know, when your iPhone gets older and you have to wiggle the cord so it starts to charge, that kind of thing. But in general, we haven't seen anything be too over-the-top crazy which is good. We want steady, but we want to see that the people who want to cast their vote, that their votes are going to count and they turn out to vote today. Amar? Um, you, about Columbia County, mm -hmm. um, so some of the polling, the precincts there uh, may extend their... Well, time. two of them will. One until 701 and the other one until 704, okay, which again that, feels a little ridiculous to say. Because who went to court over there? The, the county did. The yeah. county themselves. Mm -hmm. Um, because they can't keep it open themselves, they have to get by the county to themselves. Uh, they, they, they don't have, the only way you can go past what the state law says is to get a court order. The, the, the county felt, okay, we were a minute late starting, let's add that into the back. We were four minutes late starting, let's add that four minutes to the back. Because of those issues with the scanners. Correct. The yes. Okay. And, we, and there'll be a couple of other precincts and polling locations around the state that happens with, like I said, Tiff County has one at 740. And as we get further in the day, we keep collecting those court orders in and we'll have a full list by the end of the night. Heard a few complaints about people not being let off work to vote. Is that something your office has heard? And Georgia law does contain some provisions allowing people to be off. We have right? we have cited people to that specific law. It's not that anybody can take off for two hours to go do this. Your 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 hours have to cover the times you wouldn't be able to. It's a twelve hour shift basically. You have to have time within that to do. I'm not a lawyer, but I'm giving you the basics as a layman. If you work from nine to five. They don't have to give you time off because you have two hours at the beginning and two hours at the end. So that kind of thing doesn't happen. But say you work a 12-hour manufacturing shift, they do have to give you that, those two hours to go do it. Anything else? All right. Thanks, y'all.